powerful game on the vis on on uh, the virtualization. It's a next generation game, right? Doesn't doesn't run on a game console. Next right. generation. Yeah. So so how does that impact Sony's PlayStation business mm -hmm. and Microsoft's Xbox business going forward? Um, you know, there there are obviously people who already own the game console, and and if you already own a game console, there's no no um, uh, no reason not to continue to play one. Um, and and I think that there's people who who are in uh, areas where, where the service providers and the, and, and the um, uh, networking infrastructure isn't good enough yet to provide for, for a good enough experience. Um, but I think it's going to be increasingly less and less. I think that, that um, I, you know, I don't know how many in the audience enjoys collecting movies. I, I collect movies. Um, I like movies and I collect them. Uh, but the vast majority of what I, what I enjoy watching is off cable. And there's, there are people who, who um, uh, who has no movies at all, and they don't even understand the concept of owning a movie. Why are you just watching on cable? And so I think that you're going to find that, that there are people that are on both sides of it, that, that they enjoy owning the game and, and the physical medium still, still. I know people who are still buying CDs. I mean, that's kind of a weird concept to me. But, but um, uh, and to our, to our children, uh, if you were to, to say that, gosh, I have a CD collection, I mean, they just think you're retarded, right? Who wouldn't need a CD collection? It makes sense to have an LP collection. If you want to be an antique, be an antique, right? Don't just, you know, you, you, you own, you, you know, um, <laughs> collecting antiques makes sense. Having CDs are just having old things. <laughs> and so, so um, I think video games are going to go through the same so, but thing. So, that, but does that mean that really, ultimately, you look in the future, your, your advice to whether it be especially Sony and Microsoft, is, is you really need to start thinking about hosting these high-level games and building these back-end servers for the games because your client is going to be less important going forward? Well, it just depends on, on what their strategies are. But, but here's, here's high level. I think the high-level um, direction is inevitable, that, that more and more so, computer applications will reduce. More and more so, services will increase. Does anybody disagree with that? I mean, the idea of running out and buying an application in a box is, is just weird. It, it, it's weird today. Um, tomorrow, it's just wrong. It's wrong-minded. And so, so a video game is an application. You've got you to gotta install the application. You know, the, every video game that I have, the first thing you do, what happens when the, 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 the nanosecond you pop it into a game console, what's the first thing that happens? Download a patch. Am I right? 100%. Okay? The first thing you do, you buy Call of Duty. I can't wait to turn it on. I can't wait to turn it on. You, you, you run down to Best Buy. You finally get a copy of Call of Duty, okay, on your third try, right? And you, you, on your third try, you finally get there, you get a call, you go home, you install, call, the first thing it says is got to download a patch. You just want to kill yourself. <laughs> right there. You just want to end it all, right? Well, um, let's see. I, I think the future, that is going to be too weird. Kids won't understand that. They're just going to go, you know what? Call of Duty just came out. Okay? You're going to turn on television, and it's right there. And you just go clink, and then it's on. Is that right? No patches. Well, that's the future. We know that. We know that. And so, so how do we go from here to there? Well, the, I think the answer is as quickly as possible. So let's talk about, because really what you shared yesterday was really a disruptive issue. The fact that my PC is now in the cloud. But for that matter, my game is in the cloud. But my movies are going to be in the cloud from what you're saying as well. Well, your movies so, are already in the cloud. To some degree, but, yeah. but I mean, in essence, you're talking about not only getting away, away from, you know, what has been the DVD rental services, but the cable systems. I mean, fundamentally, they could be tremendously impacted by this, right? Well, I, I would go the other way, actually. Um, today, the cable services, the only inventory they could stream to you are movies. In the future, the inventory they could stream to you include games. I, I actually think the cable, the MSOs are going to gain, gain wonderfully from this. They're going to benefit tremendously from video games moving from an application to a service. 
fantastic opportunity for them. Okay. That's, that's my guess.